but anyways ladies and gentlemen this is the beginning of the encased playthrough uh don't really know much about it i've seen i believe uh co carnage has talked about it in the past on twitter and in live streams um saying it seems like a really cool game um i it came across my radar like once or twice and then all of a sudden i saw that it released and i was like let me check this out looked at it i think it's for like 23 bucks on steam so i uh actually requested a key via key mailer and uh surprisingly enough the uh, developers approved it or publishers somebody did they ended up uh giving me a key so shout out to them for their generosity but yeah that's uh pretty much the extent of what i know so let's go ahead and hit new game um definitely not gonna probably go either one of these so let's go uh, play for the sake of plot. Yeah, sake of plot. It sounds good to me. Got too many games to be playing them. Dying over and over. We woke up in a different world, where the Cold War ended along with the Vietnam carnage. All because of the dome. The dome. A territory full of anomalous artifacts, phenomena, and organisms. We still don't know what it is. An alien city? Some kind of a testing ground or storage? Whatever it is, no living thing trapped under the dome can escape it. Yet even this did not stop the research. The major powers created the Cronus Mega Corporation to develop and explore the dome. Its secrets became a lucrative business. The Spire Station was built on top of the dome to export the artifacts and import supplies and personnel. The city of Crystal Sands grew at the foot of the dome, eventually becoming a major transportation hub. All this required thousands of employees, and there was no shortage of candidates. Romantics, pragmatists, and adventurers of all trades swarmed recruiting centers around the globe seeking jobs at Cronus. You were one of those people. In 1976, your application was approved, and you went under the dome towards the future. Whether a good one or a bad one, only time will tell. Only time will tell. Cool. Just wanted to test that. All right, so let's see who we got here. Choose character. Martin Smith, Frank Foley, Abel, Abel, Guli, Julia, Isaac, Crowley, Margaret, Horace, Lee Xiao Long, Bonnie Harkett, Olivia Diaz. Wow, there's a lot of people. What the heck? It's still going. Vampire? They have traits? Okay. Huh. Boris. Character story. Um, why do these people look like... Uh... Prisoners, in a way. Violent? Oh. Well, that would explain it. Prison. Prison gave bribes. Robbing gas stations. Oh, well, that, that explains actually a lot. One second, chat. I hear like a high pitch. 
What are these? Avid fan of machine guns. Military base. <laughs> Attracted to three. <laughs> Some of these uh, things here. What is this guy? Frank often dreams of Vietnam. Most of, of them hard and revolting. There's no escape from them despite his best efforts. After leaving the army, Foley has tried many jobs, but fate had its own way or had its way. Once a soldier is forever a soldier, which is why Frank joined the Black Wing. dome or we can just create a character how about we just create one i didn't even see that uh welcome to the character creation screen where uh you will create a protagonist to plunge into the adventures under the dome to begin choose a name for your character and select the wing in which they will work their portrait and then adjust their physical appearance okay so portrait first Oh, that's cool they have another option you can mix and ma match male female and other all right so let me see is there like a randomize i feel like there's got to be a randomize age let's make um younger what's the youngest you can go be like 18 oh wait Oh, it is 18. Huh. All right, we'll go 25. 25 is a good number. Um, Let's see. What portraits do we have? That'd be cool if they gave you an option. Like, okay, now that you select this portrait, we're going to generate a character that looks like them. Uh... I think I need either this guy or this one. I think let, let's go with this one, even though we might not have that. Oh, shoot. Messed up again. Here we go. All right. Oh my God. I keep, doing it. I keep thinking that it's like that. The next thing. Cassis Clay. Okay. That's good. Body type, man. Head type. Uh, skin here. Let's do skin first. That way I can actually see Caucasian African Asian leave Caucasian head type Or and different types That does not look 25. All right, wait, let me see if there's any youngers, younger ones. Uh, I mean, it does, it's not like a huge deal. Just your portrait, sure, whatever. Believe that. It's hard times. I guess technically it is the 70s or whatever it is. Let's stick with five. It's fine. All right, hair. Types of hair do we have? Nine. Nine's not bad. Go with nine, I guess. Hair color. Whatever is the darkest they got. Ten. Eleven. Eleven, I think. Yeah, about 11. Uh, features and feature color go. 
11 again. Features. Probably go full beard. Why not? Let me check faces again. It's very serious right there. Sure, let's go one. Looks pretty default. Uh, all right, that looks all good right there. So then if we go to right here, blue. All right, so now we need to choose a, a wing. Blue wing, silver. Oh, okay. Oh God, I thought I erased everything. Uh, Cronus is divided into wings. These five departments are engaged in different activities. Choosing a wing affects the background of your character, starting at tribute values and initial equipment and the answered options and dialogues. So we have white wing, orange wing, black wing, silver wing, and blue wing. So I'm assuming orange is like your prisoners. Everyone deserves a second chance. Make amends for the crimes by working in the betterment of humanity. For these people and employees are everywhere, providing every kind of domestic service. Okay. White Wing is said, uh, often said that time of great discoveries are now past. Preposterous. Just like Galileo and Newton, White Wing employees are launching into a new era of science. Oh, you can see their stats too. Brains, high-tech weapons, medicine, science, and biochemical resistance. Uh, Blue Wing. Dormant for centuries came life with only arrival people. Today, the region is gigantic. Uh, thousands of cars. Rightfully proud of its world-class infrastructure built from the ground up thanks to the hardworking and knowledge of the employees. So guts, learnability. Melee weapons, contraptions, and tech. So it's kind of like the middle ground. Silver is first pri uh, priority out of a thousand. Find experts who, have, who can suss out the best solutions to every problem, equip workers with the right tools, and ship the ne necessary materials will then need uh, where they need to go. Every base built and every successful expedition is a testament. Hard work and deep wisdom of the these guys. Okay. I like the sound of that. You got charisma, skill points per level, psionics. Uh often thought as supernatural. Supernatural. Ability to make near future predictions. Sense presence of nearby relics and, and to interact with forefathers machinery. And influence. Okay. And Blackwing, these guys look like they're probably your military. Uh, military equipment, Blackwing is protecting humanity from pirate hazards of the dome. Blackwing uh, officers command is the most best officers and yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to go Silverwing. Sounds pretty cool. It looks kind of cool. Um, let me see if there's any of these that kind of match my character. I mean almost that if he had that type of hair <laughs> there you go he just looks so nervous let's go to this one yeah that's probably the closest all right whatever uh hit next attribute Distribution. We're just going to take the full stream of creating a character, pretty much. Each character in the game has a set of attributes, basic physical or mental char characteristics. The, the higher the attribute, the value, the greater the advantage in certain situations, and the higher the initial level of the secondary characteristic. After selecting your wing, and automatically reflecting that, but you can redistribute them. Okay. So you can redistribute between these muscle, physical strength, 
awareness, intuition, nice. Guts, constitution, stamina, overall health. It's actually pretty high, charisma. Charm, ability to present yourself, brains. Our brains are down, our guts are high. If during character creation, the brain stat is set to a value of one, the protagonist will be incapable of meaningful dialogue. Oh my God. I love games that do stuff like that. This is literally the same thing as um, Outer Worlds with like the same layout and everything with the, the text and all that, but just different style game. So <laughs> that's funny. Some quests become unavailable while in others new dialogues get, get unlocked. So don't put your brains down to zero, basically. I'd rather have a little bit higher perception anyway, or brains anyway. Deafness, dexterity, and reaction time. Initiative. Um, perception. Muscle. I feel like having 10 muscle, it might be worth. Fortune. Piloting skills, as well as criminal skill. Huh. I'd almost rather put this one into deafness or yeah so hp regeneration and close quarters damage learn ability modifies the amount of experience gained perception plus psych so you get a lot of experience cumbrance psych uh psi abilities and resistance towards psi attacks affects resilience and psionic abilities cool i think that's good enough we can use high-tech weapons, uh, psionic weapons, or skills, medicine. Medicine's actually pretty much up there. Science, criminal, influence, and survival. Uh, in encased, characters have a, a variety of skills that reflect their pr prowess in specific areas, be it handling different types of weapons, applying medicine, or repairing equipment. Recommend, recommend choosing two applied and one combat skill you may select three skills as your tag this will add additional 30 points to each tag skill to tag a skill click on the star icon in the left of its name three tagged skills oh, okay i see that's i uh, i see i see okay cool uh psionics so what happens when you hit that? Tag skills are your most advanced skills. Selecting a tag skill as tagged automatically grants its 30 extra points. Do you have to? Oh, so you have tagged skill points, applied, and combat. Phase shift, cryostasis, ignite. Wait, so what if I, oh, you can only do it once, I see. High tech weapons. Submachine gun, handgun ability, assault rifle ability, and shotgun ability. But we definitely want some combat stuff. Energy pistol, that pistol, penetrator, and flamethrower. So we either go high tech weapons or light weapons. Side glove ability, side glove, side glove. What was my attributes again? Which one am I best in? High tech weapons? Yeah, technically high tech we weapons are my best one. So I'm going to try that. And then we'll go to this. Uh, influence. Ability to trade, charm. The ability to elicit trust and emotional closeness from your... That. Uh, muscle six. Ooh, need six intimidation. For that. Oh, I see. Okay, because our charisma is six, six, and then you need muscle six, brain six. But then if you go into these, okay, we still meet that mark. Resilient leader. 
power suggestion piloting vehicle <laughs> assault tech okay this is like building stuff criminal you want to like be a criminal influence survival okay yeah let's go influence then sounds good to me uh, when creating a character, you can choose one personality trait for them. It has both pros and cons and is entirely optional. In case you create a character with low intelligence, one more trait named as a bag of hammers will be added automatically. So, gun fanatic. Minus five initiative. Solari. Salieri. Salieri. Uh, work hard, take by force. Whoa, that's a lot of... Oh my god. But you do get plus 20 critical chance, so that's actually not too bad. Our uh, petulant one, plus 10 everything. Where's the negative for this? You and your friends survived many troubles, but some were not so lucky. Now you're torn apart. Dem itself and saturated. What's the negative? You get plus 10 everything. What? the death of your comrades and it feels that you to you that the dome itself has been saturated with it faith faith leads you through life i say you get a, a high resistance but lower that interesting uh vampire fatigue minus 400 when killing an enemy stunned for the next round you are struck by poorly researched mental disorder that occurs only under the dome named psycho or feria. when you kill someone you experience an unusual surge of vigor but you also fall into a delirium for a few seconds and pay no attention to what is happening to you redneck <laughs> neanderthal dark lord 20% for each companion in the party. Companion lear learnability. You think of yourself as the Dark Lord and your companions as necessary of loyal but dumb minions. They are in no hurry to dissuade you. <laughs> Real seeker, bossy. Precision, encumbrance. Intuition. Slowpoke, prodigy, slacker. Okay, I'm not going to do any traits. We have no traits. Great, your character is almost complete. Now double the data and confirm your choices. The dome and its many secrets await. All right. So we've got Cassis Clay, 25, male, silver wing. Uh, so we're basically charisma slash convincing people what to do slash other stuff. And then what else do we have? Um abilities are weapons high tech weapons is crazy high what the heck uh psionics same thing then we have also very high influence so maybe we can talk people out of fights i'm not sure but uh let's go ahead and see how this is Interacting with different characters is an important part of the game. To start a dialogue, click on the character. And if they're set to talk to you, a dialogue interface will show up Come from conversations. You can find out the value point. Plot information includes and even receive tasks. Choose your lines carefully. Careless words can cause resentment and provoke a fight. Boy. Oh boy. Wait, are we all handcuffed? These guys look like they're all from different areas. Also getting a ton of things right here. All right, let's see. The orange is dressed in a new jumpsuit. The shiny badge on his chest reads Quentin Bisley, laborer. He's side-eyeing the screen skeptically. Despite his tired, grim expression, Thank God. his gaze is open. And there are voice lines. However, the general impression is unmistakable. There's something frightening about Bisley. Quentin raises his hands to examine the devices. They call them humane handcuffs. How about that? 
Truth is, there ain't nothing humane about them. They zap you real hard the moment you get your hands on a gun. But they sure look nice. Bisley lowers his hands again and smirks. The orange's face stretches into a broad smile, bearing his dentures to the world. There's other guys, too. The ones who go through the front door. He nods at the black-winged woman beside him. Her nose wrinkles in displeasure. Ah, okay. Uh, hold on. Let me see settings. I'm just gonna turn on some other stuff. That's good. Show unavailable replies. No. Huh. I saw somebody... <laughs> it's gonna be dumb, but... I saw somebody literally complained that this game didn't have... Uh, you can't rebind the WASD to your mouse. Or not your mouse, uh, the arrow keys. So they gave it a not recommended on. Uh, uh, Steam. I was like, what? Like, whatever. A tall woman is watching an ad playing on the monitor, arms crossed. The polished to a shine badge on her black overalls reads Elsa Olafson, Security Service. She glances at you and offers her hand in a greetings. Please take all necessary precautions. By that I mean, don't turn your back on him. Elsa nods at the orange. There's no need to keep the orange handcuffed. Elsa's eyes spark angrily. Are you saying you would take full responsibility for the possible consequences of that order? Was that a nod? Does that mean yes? Olafson turns to the orange, produces a key, and unlocks his cuffs in a smooth, well-practiced motion. Oh, God. She just did it just Olufsen like that? Olafson eyes your silvery jumpsuit and snorts. Really? I thought you'd be the one to tell me about it. After all, your department has access to all the orders and personal files. Her gaze shifts to the silver standing opposite and then back to you before she turns indignantly to the window. Well, now you're Bisley free, my dude. Is bopping his head from side to side as if in time with a melt. Uh, what? He asks, continuing to shake his head. Uh, Monty James. A guy wearing thick spectacles thrusts out a sweaty hand. Monty James, Silverwing. Oh, what's he up, dude? He glances down at your Same. badge. Ah, oh, it's you. I found your file extremely interesting, and your CV wonderful. Oh, when I had the you. opportunity to look over the files of my future colleagues, I couldn't resist. I don't want to sound boastful, but silver level clearance has its advantages. True. Monty true. winks. Say that you're, for, you're silver and you would like to review the other employees' files. James spreads his arms regretfully. Ah, you misunderstood. I don't carry the physical copies with me, but I did get a chance to familiarize myself with them. Ask away. Wow. This guy's uh, helpful. All right, so what about the orange wing? Uh, this is, uh... Monty adjusts his glasses and peers closely at the orange. Ah, Quentin Bisley. Grand Theft Auto three times in one B&E. He was about to go down for 12 years. I love so how those, like, description slate program. things now right here. That. They accepted him right away. The silver shakes his head in disapproval and perplexity. Okay. Huh. What about, uh, the white wing employee? Monty presses his plump hands to his chest, as if in prayer. Tamako Kimura from Osaka. A Osaka. Biologist. She's young, but already has a PhD. James moves so close, his lips are all but brushing your ear. Just between you, me, and that lamppost, Kimura has an older sister, Ayaki. She's currently in jail, and Tamako herself spent two years in prison, but that is strictly, strictly classified. Ah, just telling random people classified information makes sense. Ah, uh, what about the blue wing? The silver smiles and pats the blue on the shoulder. As the man turns to him, Monty raises his fist in some kind of a weird salute. Gagarin, Sputnik, Cosmos, Mir, Druzhba, Krasin, SSSR, he says in Russian. The blue's mustache twitches, and his face wrinkles with a beaming smile. Uh, Mr. Uh, no, Comrade Patanin is from the Soviet Union. He's a highly <laughs> qualified construction engineer. Took part in planning the spire. Comrade. He's no spy, supposedly. Monty explains, turning to you. Uh-huh. 
All right, what about the Black Wing employee? Elsa Olofsson, police captain, city of Stockholm. Former captain, to be precise. Dismissed from service because of a conflicting article. The Black gives him an unpleasant look, but so says nothing. <laughs> Sorry about himself. Classified. Uh -huh. He's plainly flattered by your question. Harvard. Then I worked in the economics department at Supercolor. They produced a special television model for commuter buses. Did you know that? That was my research. Oh. What else? Well, I like sports. Water aerobics is a sport, isn't it? Uh, I don't smoke and never eat after 6 p.m. Just saying, uh, these kinds of things aren't in the file. So saying, Monty abruptly falls silent. Okay. Uh, let's see. What is this? Activate stealth. Let's talk to Tim Tomoko. The thin, pale young woman is sitting at the window, leaning against the illuminator. The glass is slightly fogged with her breath. She took. We've crossed the border. No way back now. Even traveling by City the vehicle wasn't so. It's crystal sands. Thrilling. The white presses small hands to her blushing White cheeks. Wings. You were thinking, why have no children been born under the dome? I've got a working hypothesis, but I'm not ready to share it yet. She says softly, as if answering a question you didn't ask. Ask Kimura if she sees the dark stain in the outer surface of the dome. Kimura peers through the glass in the direction you indicate. Oh, that's the aircraft that crashed into the dome during the first expedition. I believe that's a wing fragment, and there's some white canvas. What do you think that is? Maybe a parachute? I have no idea. The white shakes her head, bewildered. I just can't believe it. It's all true. We're on our way to meet the future. What does she mean by cross the border? Kimura shoots you a surprised look. You're familiar with the details of the briefing, right? To put it simply, the dome is a selectively permeable environment. The white draws an invisible hemisphere oh, in the air. Inorganic objects may exit the dome without difficulty, but any living creature dies if transported back to the outside world. That's why we're all stuck here for an indefinite period of time. Wonder aloud why things happen. Kimura is eyeing the dome's mesh glittering in the sunlight. Supposedly, it's something to do with the atmospheric composition, but it's a weak theory. The difference of the air within the dome is so insignificant as to fall within the margin of error. Or to put it more simply, there is no difference. Well, she yeah. shoots a quick glance at the silver and lowers her voice. I heard a rumor, or a conspiracy theory, that we can leave the dome at any time. We've simply been told we can't. <gasps> if you ever decide to test this hypothesis, don't forget to leave me something in your will. Okay. <laughs> a man with a mustache and a blue jumpsuit is standing at the window. The blue taps on the glass with one finger and gestures you to come and take a look. Seems like he doesn't speak English. Ah, talk to... Otananen. Using sign language, mimicry, and all of your artistic talent, you're able to communicate with the planner. Wow. Once he's sure you're watching, Patanen points up in the direction of Spire Station, from which you departed a few minutes ago. Huh. He sketches the outline of the station on a bro- Once he's finished, the blue turns to you with a delighted expression. The blue begins to mark up his diagram with a series of footnotes and numbers. Turns out the station's ring diameter is a bit more than 1,500 meters. Its height above the dome is 317 meters. And the total height of the spire, including the loading docks, is nearly 720 meters. Damn. Let's come out of the station functions. With a series of competent strokes, the planner delineates the capsule's movement scheme, drive train, and massive hydraulic brakes on the glass. This time, Igor is quite laconic. He pauses, then confidently writes cargo and personnel in block letters. Beside it, he writes relics. The engineer stops you with a gesture, and after rummaging through his pockets, offers you a small candy. Small can. candy? <laughs> there is a picture of a crayfish on the white wrapper. Is this candy crayfish flavored? <laughs> 
Thank you and put the candy in your mouth. Uh, they say never take candy from a stranger, but we're already talking to strangers, so. It's surprisingly spongy and tooth achingly sweet. You can only wonder what it has to do with crayfish. Various actions such as eating food or taking medicines may impose certain effects on you. They last for different times and be positive or negative. Some attacks and abilities can also apply a status effect. Changes the characters of the tar characteristics of the target. For example, bleeding or poisoning will gradually. Uh, new tip that. Yum yum. Plus three initiative. Okay. For two hours? What? All right. Inventory. I think we got a bunch of stuff, apparently. Scanner, a portable device. Character, inventory, data. What's our tracked quest? Newcomer to Concord. Reputation. Oh, my reputation has increased with the orange wing. Exit location, dome. Okay. Uh, do we have anything else? I think that was everything, right? Quest, inventory. Craft window, escape. All right, let's use the door. Stopping by the door's porthole, you watch as the ground slowly approaches. Are it we going down? black through the tinted glass and smoky blue at the horizon. It almost seems like the clouds are pulling apart there. You can discern the regular pattern of a settlement in the mists hanging over the northern section. If this is the city, it's nowhere near as miraculous as the brochure. Just a few concrete buildings surrounded by sheds. It resembles the hab pods of a space colony in a sci-fi film. The blues and oranges did their share of the physical labor, but the main credit belongs to the brilliant administrators from Silverwing. At least, that's what you were told during the pre-departure briefing. Just as you're about to move away from the window, you notice a whirlwind beginning to form above the ochre plain. The gathering storm drifts unhurriedly above the desert, a crown of green lightning flashing at its core. Clearly no ordinary weather phenomenon. It must be one of those anomalies. You freeze by the window, unable to avert your gaze. Uh, stay where you are. Try to see if you can spot the mysterious forefather structure until landing. Then your tippy toes try to point, make out the window. Or Father the structures. outlines of the landing site, blurred by clouds of dust, appear behind the greenish glass of the porthole. The capsule shudders as the braking devices engage. Location landing zone. Okay, so it's a point and click. God, one second. All right, so let's see what we've got here. Door automatically opens when we click there. Camera control, in the case you can rotate the camera with the Q and the E. Nice, I love it when they do that. Uh, 
Camera is not tied to a character. You can move it using WASD. To return to the view, press tab. Hey, Ted, what do you think's inside? I mean, the box. Cool. Come here. Come on now, or you'll miss everything. A cheerful man in a white lab coat. I like how they do the, the full screen. A badge reading Ludovico Nuzzi, scientific analyst, export department, dangles loosely on Whoa, his clean white uniform, chair, which still oh, smells pungently of washing powder. <laughs> Look over there. He points upward with a sharp, wide gesture and hands you his field binoculars. Take the binoculars and look where he's pointing. You raise the binoculars to your eyes. What? Under fourfold magnification, the whirling cloud above the rust-colored plains looks even stranger. Its core glows with flickering green light and flashes rhythmically. And that rhythm seems to form a complicated pattern. Nuzzy bends close to your ear. Fascinating. Do you want me to bring some filters? If we intercept the red and blue spectrums, we'll see something amazing. It's like a signal, some kind of message. Uh, it's going to scientific. It's telling me need to go. It's going to what you're looking at. I don't know. Ludovico laughs unnervingly and snatches the binoculars from your hands. That's comforting. With the binoculars raised to his eyes. He minutely adjusts the focus. It's a massive whirlwind north of Concord, and not merely some desert sandstorm. That's an anomaly. I hope it lasts long enough for me to make a proper observation. The scientist looks blankly at you. Ah, this? Ludovico points at the building behind him. I work in Concord Station, categorizing relics. My job is to classify them by rarity. Then the blues package them, silvers issue the documentation, and oranges move them to the cargo capsule. Just like the one you arrived in. Nazi points upward. Then the capsule takes the relics way up there, all the way to the spire, then to crystal sands by the funicular. They get auctioned off and turned into money. It's not like I endorse this, but we all like ourselves a good paycheck, right? He offers True. you his binoculars once again. Not wrong. Do you want to have a look at the spire? It's amazing. Nazi looks from you to the capsule, and he flings his arms up. Oh, Miss Goosey. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. You'd better get going or you'll be late for check-in. Yeah, the storm is growing stronger. And I was starting to get bored. Come back again. Okay. How do we, um, are there, is there a toggle? Everybody's going inside. Get inside, everybody. Attention, attention. Please handle relics carefully. In case of damage, your life... Please handle relics carefully. All right. Concord Station Terminal. Um, I quests throughout the game. Uh, you will perform various tasks, some of which will lead you to the story, as well as others that reveal different aspects of life under the dome. You can always find out the tasks and read the details with the L key. 24, 23 hours, 47 minutes. Concord. Miscellaneous camera control. Uh, these are just like data. It's just. Production, wings, lower intelligence, dialogue, cool. Quests. Okay. Um, hold on for just a second here, chat. I am going to... My, my lips are... I had some salt and vinegar uh, chips earlier, and they're, like, super dry right now, so I'm going to get a drink. So. Let's go ahead and continue. I'm listening. 
What's he doing? Calculate the optimal route for telecommunication cables. Interesting. <laughs> uh. Bids you farewell with a firm handshake. It was nice chatting. Nice guy. Oh, never thought this would happen. It uh, so most of it is uh, voice acted, but not everything. Various employees are under strict surveillance and according and accounting. Finish their bureaucratic procedures in 24 hours, or you will be accused of infringement of the corporate codex and be sought after oh god what have i done what Hello, do i do come up to the desk please i'll register you okay thanks dean Whew. a tall Wait, what receptionist is this? watches you from behind said, his give desk suicidal with a bored, something haughty look he noticing your silvery uniform he offers up his best artificial smile welcome my name's dean rayhead it's my job to help our new employees settle in. Please wait a moment or two while I register you. The administrator slaps himself on the forehead. Ah, I almost forgot the regulation pre-registration greeting. Just a second. Ah, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, listen. Ray Hutt produces a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder from beneath the desk, rewinds the tape to the beginning, and presses play. The speakers explode with a harsh, crackling sound over which the tick tick of a metronome slowly grows louder ah yes of course solemn music begins to play and the administrator's face takes on a serious expression dear employee on behalf of the Cronus Foundation I administrator Dean Rayhead welcome you to your new life under the dome the administrator clears his throat and continues by joining our company you choose the path of science and progress Attention. you are among Attention. mankind's best and we ask that you live up to this Dean squints down at the monitor deserve this title do your job honestly obey the law respect your colleagues and The music fades, and the administrator finishes his speech. And together, we will build the best possible future for all mankind. Dean wow, that puts is the very, tape recorder uh... away. Now that we're done with the official greeting, I'll register you and upgrade your Selectron. Okay? All right. One second, chat. Dean's hands hover over the keyboard. He gives you a nod. Take your information to you him. Spell out your first and last names and specify your wing, profession, and test results. The administrator's fingers fly across the keyboard as he enters your information into the Cronus database. Ray Hett scans the computer screen. So your uh, position in the waiting list was 63,784. You've been assigned to Magellan Station. A special bus will bring you there after a series of briefings. Please pass me your Selectron so I can update the firmware. Electronic key and ID. Dean snaps the docking port of your pass to a recess in the casing of his computer. The administrator returns your Selectron. So, colleague, you now have first level clearance, which gives you access to the archives on the administrative level, the warehouses, and basically everywhere else except the secure facilities. You also have admin privileges at most terminals. Oh, sweet. Dean continues. All new employees have a short list of tasks to perform on arrival. Do you want to hear all the details or just the short version? Sure, let's uh, hear the details. Ray Hett nods and points at the ceiling. First, you need a set of combat gear. Talk to Sidney Maynard. He'll give you everything. Dean extends his second finger. Second, weapons. Ms. Margarita Takachenko is the clerk at the armory. After she dispenses your firearm, you'll need to head to the training zone for a brief weapons handling exam. The administrator straightens his third finger. According to the latest regulations, all employees must attend a briefing on psi abilities. Apply to instructor Andre Mihai. 
Ah, that's cool. Dean extends his fourth finger and looks at you meaningfully. Did I tell you about the combat and tactical training? The fourth step is to visit instructor Winston Botherby. And finally, science is the overarching purpose behind everything we do here. Go to Professor Van Alden to learn how to study relics, avoid anomalies, and catalog scientific knowledge. This training is mandatory for all wings, not just white. Dean, Dean, catches himself. Oh, and when you're done with your trainings, proceed to the waiting room. From there, you'll travel to Magellan by bus. The administrator looks up at you again. That is all. He reaches for the tape recorder, but thinks better of it. Protocol calls for a little welcoming preamble, but dash it all, that's nonsense. Welcome to Concord Station. As he's about to turn away, Dean suddenly remembers something. Oh yes, I sent your mail to your Kairos. Check your new messages. Well, that's all, I think. Cool. Uh, messages sent to you by various game characters are stored in the messages section. Uh, da -da -da, inbox, after reading, move to archive. Where is the messages? Tori? Um... Not sure. What is this? Third letter from Kronos on bonds. Assuming that's money. Open with silver wing access. Wait, what was his thing? Gives suicidal orders? What? Cigarette withdrawal? Wait, if I right click them, can I find out more about them? Talk, examine. Life without nicotine is getting harder. Wait, what is his examine? Gives suicidal orders. What the hell? I guess he uh, gives orders that are like, might kill you, technically. Do I talk to first? Uh, first, talk to Sydney Mallard. Mallinard. Behind Mallard. the storage counter, you see a small, neat guy. The silver perks up at your approach. The silver finally stops and pins down a particular page with his finger. Now this is your first uniform requisition, right? You can also purchase any equipment you need for the desert directly from me. Maynard adjusts his glasses in a business-like manner. And before I give you the uniform, please listen to these short instructions. Sidney fiddles with his hairstyle. So, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Life under the dome can be dangerous. You may get shot, spill acid on yourself, get electrocuted or suffer the effects of a dangerous anomaly. You may also freeze to death or get fried. That's why it's important to wear protective equipment when traveling outdoors. Of course, in hazardous situations, the equipment will get damaged, and the more it's damaged, the more often one has to repair it. The silver steps back from his counter to indicate the repair kit boxes piled in the back of the warehouse. He points back at the shelves behind him. We've got repair kits for this gear. There are blue wing specialists ready to help you at any large base, of course. But they're not always available. So you'd better learn how to use repair kits and workbenches on your own. It's a useful skill. Okay. Sydney rests the logbook on the desk. That's all the instructions. Now, I'm going to issue- The silver disappears into the back for a while. Unfolding the package, Maynard shows you a brand spanking new uniform. A silver suit jacket with coal black shirt and dark trousers. Sidney studies the way the light reflects from the cloth as he lovingly smooths the jacket with one hand. The silver wing uniform is fit for field conditions just in case. But something this fine you should treat with care, you know. He raises a finger. One more important thing. In accordance with Order 16-225, helmets and gloves are not issued, but they're available for purchase from me. Please bear in mind 
that a full set includes headgear or a mask, jacket, trousers, gloves, and boots. Sydney hands you the package. Here's your uniform. Enjoy. Thanks. I'm not going to buy anything from him. Gives generous promises. What the hell is this? Yo, what up, soldier Pat? All right, Pat. So here's how I'm going to lay it down for you. So it's pretty much... Um, <laughs> this is in Final Fantasy 14. I know, I know. This is pretty much... Uh... I would say a mix of wasteland and the outer worlds wasteland like yeah pretty much uh it just came out and you know what's funny the the text and everything looks like identical to outer worlds as you can see right here you got me <laughs> got me in yeah, it's, it's very interesting. So pretty much you, it's like in the 1970s, I think. Uh, and you, you're on these domes. I'm still in the tutorial. Like I'm very early on in the game. Uh, and there's five factions. There's the, uh, let me see if I can get this right. Oh, I found my thing. Oh, acquire uniform, get self-defense. So you have five factions you have, or wings they're called. Uh, they change your characters and stuff, like your information, uh, or your stats. It's black, which are military, uh, blue, which are your workers, white, which is like your higher ups, which is what I am. And like, there's very high in, uh, charisma and stuff. Um, or no, 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 I'm silver. White is your scientist. Uh, orange are your prisoners. And then... Uh, I think... Blue. White. Silver. Black. Orange. Oh, that is all of them. That's five. Anything urgent, Mr. Uh, and there's actually a good amount of voice acting so far. So it's it's been pretty cool. Uh, I'm literally just getting started still, but it's not that bad. Um, second thing is... Let's see. There we go. We have our list in here somewhere. Uh, step two. Get a weapon tied to Margarita. Maxim. Here she is. Moving between locations. The game is a vast and divided into many separate locations, some of them which are temporarily inaccessible. Look like doors sealed off. I like that one. The appropriate measures. I hate those oranges. What the hell do they break lock? The smell of good tobacco wafts off this tall, portly woman. How much you pay? So I'm just going to say, Pat, to be honest. An open log book it was $23 for the game, flip calendar sit but on the I did get a key her. from the developers a small nameplate reads, uh, through Margarita Tukachenko. So I submitted my request. I saw it, came, it literally came out yesterday. I submitted a, correct, a request. They approved it. I said I was going to 100% play it. So shout out to the devs or the publishers, whichever one did approve it. The woman uh, fixes her coppery hair with one yeah. hand and casually lights her pipe. To what do I owe the pleasure? Her voice is deep and gravelly. Margarita thumbs back a couple of pages in her logbook. I see. She glances at her chiris, looks at you, snorts, and retreats to the shelves. Tukachenko returns a couple of minutes later, carrying something that looks more like a toy than a weapon. The weapon seems weightless as she spins it around her finger. I ain't telling you shit about this thing, because that's exactly how much I know. Laser, schmazer, cadmium battery, fiberglass body, blah, 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 blah. There are a lot of stats too, Pat. Do. Here. Uh, accept the firearm carefully with the barrel aimed downward, like you are trained. Take the weapon in one hand, point it at This is my turf now. <laughs> 
sling it over your sho shoulder say no good with energy weapons and need something else actually i'm perfect with energy weapons margarita drags on her pipe and releases a puff of thick yellow smoke i see you know the rules and won't cause problems ask about the weapon's drawbacks takachenko bites down on the stem of her pipe are you kidding me i'm a different breed one that doesn't understand toy guns what if it turns out to be radioactive the armorer shrugs puffing indifferently on her pipe it's the least i could do and i we noticed a uh, list from the silvers for free you receive only rubbish uh, if you want the real deal check out the weaponry shop or me it left you as a Wait uh a, a sub sign your name here in the a meantime. 30 month sub margarita reaches under her counter and produces a set of ammunition Isn't a that new cool? set of ammo is issued for every task but there's so one of the only subs go daft Left. Expenditure report. Form <laughs> number 16. Disposal form. The silver's running true to form. So if you need more ammo, I recommend you either search or barter for it. Or learn how to craft it on your own. These are you leaning over the counter. A the rare breed, I know. To one side. Maybe eventually it'll come back. Training. Who knows? Father B is already waiting for you by the big gate. He's a bit dotty, but a good man nonetheless. Who knows? But before the training zone, go see that wizard guy with his toothpicks. Be careful around him, though. Don't let him pitch you a line. Psychic my ass. She winces in disgust. I'm also a uh, psychic. Or have psychic ability. second I'm just checking how's the first multi-stream going no tech issues none so far knock on wood um we are on all three platforms right now twitch facebook and youtube and uh so far it's looking pretty good i would say attention, attention. let's talk to this maxim guy an engineer in a bright blue jacket is tinkering with the door lock, cursing under his breath, non- You're a newcomer, right? It's a straight up open house here today. He offers you his hand. According to his badge, this is Maxime Penkovsky. The technician slaps the door with one hand. You have to wait until I'm done. Some orange jammed up the lock with chewing gum just for a laugh. They're like animals, those oranges. Marking their territory. If you ask me, they're too gracious about those bastards in Crystal Sands. I got, uh, as far as the multi-stream too, I got pretty much everything set up. So alerts, notifications, all that stuff. Uh, it all gets put in together. Um, so same thing with the, the thing at the top of my stream. The icon, this thing right here, which technically I don't see on my game, but you guys see. This also responds to likes, uh, subscribers on YouTube, followers on Twitch, uh, pretty much every type of interaction this thing responds to. So, uh, Penkovsky yeah, grunts. It's pretty angrily. cool how it's <laughs> all I connected. And then also, chat is shared across it all it platforms. It's work I don't need, and all thanks to some idiot. Well, not shared like that, but it's shared on stream. So if somebody says something from Twitch, you can see it. If somebody says something from Facebook, you can see it. If somebody says something from YouTube, you can see it. Maxime extracts a thin, sharp, the precision right. probe from behind his ear and dangles it. Well, there's another way. You want to learn something about picking locks? It's a useful mm. skill in all sorts of situations. Penkovsky shrugs. Pick this lock specifically as much as you like. But in general, yes, it can be illegal if you try to get in where you shouldn't be or open other people's lockers. No one will get upset if you touch an ownerless door. The Blues getting excited. All right, looky here. Penkovsky presses his pick lock and an odd device resembling a hybrid of a screwdriver and a can opener into your hand. 
Using a mechanical pick lock is easy peasy. No special. Gonna keep me busy required. and have me. <laughs> they wear out after a few locks. <laughs> have me have all three the old streams up at the same time to delete entirely. bad boy comments, aren't you? Cheap one I mean, Pat. But one has to know how to use I'm it just right. saying. That's a tool for a master. Maxine make takes you a out moderator. another pick lock and crouches by all the, the door. Above. It gives you a quick lesson on how to pick a lock. By the way, you can carry your tools in your belt. It's much handier to have them right there. Penkovsky shows you his utility right. belt where he keeps all kinds of tools and gadgets. Actually, finding tools under the dome is no problem at all. I have my agent call. My people will call your people. So on. Maxime hoists up his belt. The blue solemnly raises his index finger. And one more thing. Always use brand name stuff if you can. Groovy produces good kits. Modus and Supercolor do too. They've all got fat contracts with Cronus, so they care about quality. He looks at the door again. Damn these locks. Though I'd rather be doing this than fixing hab pods. Those are a real pain in the ass. Penkovsky gives you a patronizing look. Uh, locks and lock picking. I click on a lock door. Got it. Okay. So it's basically like boom. Boom. Look at that. 100%. I repeat. Get a lock pick and attach it to your utility belt. And then, um, apply it to the door. Yes. Apply is the proper word. Apply to the door. Uh, so who's the next person we have to see? Step three. Talk to this lady. No, this guy. Oops. Sorry. Well, you've got quite an aura. A lean silver with thick black hair and a huge cigar clamped in his teeth. As you approach, he flashes a sly grin and slow. Something really weird happens. All the paper clips, pencils, Whoa. scattered toothpicks, and bits of trash float up from the table and hang in the air. The silver badge reading Andre Mihai, sign instructor, <laughs> floats up as well. I'm going to show him that I have skills as well. You thrust your hand forward, and your outspread fingers emit barely visible sparks of energy. Pencils, paper clips, toothpicks, and pistachio shells dance chaotically in the air. <laughs> attention, attention. The silver sticks out his lower lip as if to say, not bad, not bad, and gives you a thumbs up. The objects clatter back onto the table. <laughs> Here for the briefing, huh? Shall we get to it? He takes the cigar out of his mouth and exhales a lush cloud of smoke. The silver props his elbows on the table. Anyway, here's the deal. It's more profitable for people with a high psyche to study psionics. Give me your hand. Not waiting for an answer, he grabs your hand with strong, dark fingers. He jerks his hand back at once, then touches you again, carefully and distrustfully. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> You know, you've got one hell of a talent, huh? Slimy little bastard, you. You want to take my office, I know. Uh, but you sure got some power there. <laughs> oh, thanks. The silver takes a thin glove covered in talc from his desk and passes it to you. Look, a glove, right? But it isn't just a glove. This is an ooh mama hold me tight glove. It takes energy from your noggin, your psyche, and pew, concentrates it. Oh. World, a better place. He counts off on his fingers. Learn psionics. Put on the glove. Transform energy into the necessary shape. That's the whole briefing. Simple? Simple. Now to your questions, huh? I guess so. Ask him to show you a Mihai trick. spreads his hands good-naturedly as if to say, you're... The toothpicks on the table skitter around for a moment, arranging themselves into a curse word. The silver laughs loudly at his joke. The cigar falls from his mouth to float in the air. Ash flaking weightlessly from the tip. Attention. Please handle relics carefully. In case of damage, your 
Uh, ask him to tell you. Okay, that's fine. Is that it? All we had to do with him? Success. Learned about Psy abilities and got a special glove. Sweet. Oh, yeah, and we got a gun, too. Got strapped. All right, so I think this is part of the tutorial where you have to actually do it. Attach it to your utility belt, and then um, apply it Electric to the door. Electric lockpick. Yes. Apply is the proper word. Lockpicking. Bare hands. Is any of you've never held a lockpick? Huh. Does that get rid of it though? I repeat, get a lockpick and attach it to your utility belt. Yeah, yeah, then, yeah, I'm working on um, it. You're doing great. All right, off you go. I'll keep working on this lock. Because Welcome under the dome, an amazing excursion to a world of new technology and the riddles of an ancient civilization. Listen to this information, useful for all wings, and receive a colorful leaflet. Gives a pep talk. You have a pep talk to give? Hi there. She pounced on me. Say that your time is precious indeed, and you're not going to waste it on such rubbish. Uh, I agree and listen. I thought her speech was good, but you know how to prove it. Thank you for her feedback and her remarks and written form. Of course, you will want to leave feedback, don't you? Say no. Subject drop and leave. There you go. And I explained why you should fix it. Cheer up by bellowing. Who's the best employee? You're the best employee and leave. <laughs> if you are, uh, maybe you're looking to leaflet. Politely refuse. Take the leaflet. Tell her to fuck off. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. I'm not that mean. All right, Sebastian, you what do you got? You see a tall scientist in a white ERP, lab coat right, good, bathed though. in the dim lamplight. He almost <laughs> appears to be hovering above the laboratory floor. The man turns at your footstep. He glances from you to the glittering watch on his wrist. I want us to respect one another's time. Please speak loudly, clearly, and to the point. You must be the newcomer I was told about. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Finished with his unusual greeting, he offers you his thin hand. The scientist puts the clipboard aside, raises his watch for a closer look, and sets the time. He shows you his watch dial. According to the rules of this briefing, I have to touch on a large number of topics. Therefore, I will do so very briefly. Do not interrupt me. When I'm finished, I'll answer your questions. Within regulations, of course. Sebastian produces his handheld and clicks some buttons. I checked your scanner. It's working and is connected to the Minerva database. Everything you scan will earn you Kronos or Forefathers knowledge points. Hmm. The instructor watches you with displeasure. Are you listening? Scan everything that might be of scientific interest. First of all, anomalies. They could be dangerous. Make sure to always have medication with you. He places a canvas pouch in your hand. This pouch is full of bolts. You can temporarily discharge an anomaly by throwing a bolt into it. It's primitive, but reliable. Van Olden pushes a button on his stopwatch. So, my oral briefing fell within the allotted span of time. Any questions you want to ask me? That's a lot of questions. Uh, sure. How about... Uh, Sebastian snorts skeptically. Oh, great. You're even ignorant of the basics. Minerva is a mainframe located at Magellan Base, where you'll be going soon, by the way. Ah, of course. Of course. When I call bolts primitive, they're important. Don't smack... The Don't Minerva talk smack disk on stores bolts. the database containing every piece of information about the Dome on the other and hand. the company's employees. It is thanks to this scanning that the database is constantly updated. Are you ready for the second part of the briefing, or do you have any more questions? The instructor looks at his chronometer again. Uh... 
So, yeah. The scientist glances at Let's his see. watch again. You're within the time limit for questions. The next step is training in the artificial eco zone. Okay. He rests one finger on the button in preparation to start the timer. You're going to go downstairs and scan relics. I will be monitoring your progress. Please note there are several radioactive anomalies in the eco zone. These are the same conditions you'll be working in in the field. Radioactive zones and relics are quite common under the dome. Pets. He smoothly extracts a jar of yellow pills from his pocket. Here's your Arad 3. And one more thing. Just a moment. Grabbing something up. Hey, first day under the dome? You feeling lost and scared? Worried about ravenous forefathers in the IRS who but need something but don't know exactly what it is? Contact us. We're Silverwing. We know what you need better than you do. Yes, we know all about your needs because we're the ones who formed them. Attention, hey, attention, first under the dome. please handle relics you feeling carefully. lost and scared? In case Worried of about damage, ravenous forefathers in the forfeit. IRS? You need something but don't know exactly what it is? Contact us. We're Silverwing. We know what you need better than you do. Yes, we know all of Why is she still talking? Now you're talking. Them. Hello again. Oh, God. Hey there. Makes it look like... It was nice chatting. What did I just say? I made her cry. I can tell her she looks like a raccoon because of... <laughs> what the heck, dude? Oh my god. Is she talking to herself? You can't... Uh, you can't tell because she was walking around. She was talking. She's practicing her speech. Basically. Oh my god. Told her... God, that was so bad. That's pretty bad. I didn't mean to. Roll back save. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. One second, I'm uh, just checking something really quick. One second, I'm just checking this. Attention, attention. Please handle relics carefully. In case of damage, your life will be forfeit. work will make the world a better place. World, a better place. Mm -hmm. 
this worked, so. Everything good? Yeah, I'm just checking some stuff that I can't seem to figure out, so... Here we go. Almost good. Uh, I need to run to the bed. Do. Uh, if it's technical, I can take care of it. Just give me full access to your computer to know this isn't safe. <laughs> of course. Of course. Hey, no problem. No problem at all. Why wouldn't I, you know? Of course. Absolutely. Hey, let me let me just. All right, hold on. Let me just take this and then. Okay. All right, you now have full access. All right, don't do anything too bad. That I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. All right, I'm back. Wait, now, uh, what can I do to get him back? <laughs> I hope the timer's still not counting down while I'm paused. Whoops. Okay. Uh, 
I thought this guy was gonna come back. Unless if maybe we see him later on. The sun reflects blindingly from the salt. We can't see the TV set's resistance. Or its combat stat. Unacceptable. Unbelievable. Hello, sir. Salutations. Uh tell him about non-lethal weapons and how to defeat an opponent without killing him. Say so you want to know more about non-lethal. When you arrive on the dome, you're issue weapons, but never explain that almost any kind of weapon can be used in non-lethal non ammunition or attack methods. Include tasers, pepper spray, and tranquilizer darts, which also can be acquired. If you want to win without killing, you have to exhaust your component. Your opponent. Uh, or why a hippie is serving in Blackwing. <laughs> Ask the house of kindness. What's the house of kindness? This is our community. We practice meditation, walk on coals, don't eat meal, meat, and are trying to give up plastic. Why is a hippie? My mission, I chose Blackwing, just prove by example that military service without violence is possible. Have a good one. Oh, this is the next guy. Norman Potter. A middle-aged black is sitting behind the counter with his hands in his lap. The buttons and zippers on his uniform are polished to a shine, and even his badge, Winston Botherby Instructor, has been buffed so much it hurts to look at it. Botherby frowns as you approach. Your first act is being late for the briefing. Are you going to be late for your funeral as well? The black looks you over. Yes, I see the weapon received check mark. Looks like you are fully prepared to disappoint me. You are prepared, right, employee? Tell me you're against violence. Say you have a few things to do in return. Say you're prepared. Father we leans over the counter and directs you to the doors. Behind this oh, door yeah, is a I'm combat prepared. simulation computer. Launch it and begin your course. Sir, yes, sir. He raises his index finger. The conditions in the training zone closely simulate those one would experience in the field. Your goal is to avoid getting lost and dying of dehydration. And try to aim the barrel away from yourself when shooting. Roger that. Pulling a notepad from his pocket, the instructor jots down your name. Your goal is to hit three targets. I'm going to monitor you and advise as necessary. And try not to burst into tears. I will do That's my all. very best. Go yeah. ahead. Oh, yes, sir. All right. Give it a shot, I guess. Use terminal. Throughout the game, you'll often have to interact with various terminals. Terminals contain useful information, allow you to turn on and disable me mechanisms and open lock doors. If you accidentally or intentionally killed one of the main characters, get information on how to run the terminals. Uh, what's the plan? Well, uh, undergo the basic military training. I'm ready. I'm ready. Is this the firing range? Hello? Oh, wait. Way block. Hello, sir. I suppose use the terminal one. Oh, that's what I did. Preparing for combat. For entering combat, combat, make sure you're prepared. Check your and your companion's health. Move your weapons from inventory to the hand slot. Load your weapon if necessary. Prepare medicine to counter health damage. Consider the sequence of actions in the direction of your attack, or well, just make a bloody mess. Enter Alpha and initiate the Alpha Squad hologram. Proceed to training zone. 
turn-based combat encased as a turn-based combat system the move sequence of the opponents allies and yourself is determined by initiative action points are spent on moving using abilities and attacking if you're performing all the desired actions you will still have some action points left you can spend them on increasing your defense class by covering clicking on the cover button v or you can finish the current turn and save them for the next one Roger that so we've got two weapons okay so that's how you can swap weapons previous weapon how close is this this makes me want to play wasteland wish that co-op wasn't buggy is it still that much is it still like mess so what happens if i do this Target hit. And then we can move right there. Oh no, oh no. I got shot. Now almost every bottle you're surrounded by interactive objects, pools of toxic goo, flames, or barrel fuel. So this one damage times two psych that'll kill that guy and i still have three abilities to attack how much does it take for me to attack Not enough action points. Never mind. I lied. Bolt throwing. Throw a bolt to see if there's a hidden object or, or thing. Okay. Huh. Let's uh skip turn. Saves one AP for next turn. As of a few months ago, yeah, I don't know if the game breaking stuff is still there when it, uh, we had to restart a game, but it's still lagging and stuff. Oh, yeah. Oof. I remember that. That was rough. Psy confusion ability cooldown uh doesn't deal damage chance target goes in a status in since insanity and might attack its own allies for one round uh teleports the target within 15 does not affect the target that occupies more than one space okay. examine psy attack try doing this Nice. Do we still have enough? We still have enough for attack right here. Okay. Oof. 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 Uh. Uh, we're not gonna have enough to do two attacks so let's do one right there and we can't do that one boom there it is how'd i do how'd i do Make sure that you don't have a weapon drawn when you start talking to someone. Nobody likes a gun poked to their face. <laughs> Unequipping the weapon isn't necessary. Just left click the weapon icon in the panel on the bottom of the screen and the character will holster it on their back or belt. Wait, does he still have it equipped? Um, hello? Bother be nods, grandly. You made it through training without making a total fool of yourself. Congratulations. I'll send a report up the chain about your completely unanticipated success. Wow. You're dismissed. 
employee. Thank you, sir. Janitor's gear. Whoa, a mop? Yeah. A piece of cloth. Is there a way? Wait, if we press. <gasps> yes, that's awesome. <laughs> Love it. Okay, cool. You can actually. Okay, cool, cool. It tells you what stuff you can interact with. Oh, there's a flower pot right here. Ladies and gentlemen, search the flower pot. We found some a handful of earth. That's sick. So actually uh good to know now good to all right That's cool though. Now we can actually see if you press and hold tab, similar to the other games like, uh, you know, that one game called, uh, I don't know, I don't know if people heard of it. It's called Divinity Original Sin 2. Yeah, that game. Uh, success. Uh, so be explained. Master, never heard of it. Same. I've, I don't even know it either. It's just, it's just there somehow. Master, uh, the use of the scanner. This will explained by Sebastian Van Olden. Sebastian Van Olden. Sebastian Van. There it is. <laughs> Sounds like a sci-fi story. But we Please stand by for decontamination to end. Thank you. Wait, do I still have my weapon out? I'm like kind of confused. Is that considered having my weapon out? I don't think I do. I think it's just me having it on my hand Sebastian hey you have the scanning ability to perform scanning select the ability from the panel and then select the object or click on the object that you want to scan for each successful scan you receive knowledge points that they obtained to the process stored into your Eris X key oh what do you want we do need to play Divinity. I want to play Borderman, Borderlands when that releases. Borderlands 4? Or the next one, you mean? Go to hell. Attack. Leave. Nod and hire wep hide your weapon. That's much better. Van Olden gestures back at the eco zone. You ha Wait, why then? My weapon was out? How do I even tell? Hole slash hide weapon. I'm confused. How do you tell? I understand that one. There's no way to tell. I don't like you. Von Olden gestures. Uh, sir, I don't understand how I'm pulling out my weapon. I'm sorry. My hand. <laughs> okay, let's scan. What are we scanning here? Scan the scanner. Unidentified. Relic. Careful around the anomalies. Touch one of them and you'll be injured. Okay. Uh under the road is full of strange and hazardous called anomalies. Most of them can injure, kill, or eradicate you. Boy. 
Wait, there's something right here. Put your hand in the pocket, and that's how you holster. Ah, that makes sense. Wait, what happens? All right, let's save real quick. What happens if I click right here? Is it going to run through the danger? Plus one radiation. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm stupid. No. Journal entry. Two objects scanned. And again, watch out for anomalies. Touch one and you'll be injured. Possible the anomalies discharge. Journal entry. All three objects successfully scanned. Come upstairs, employee. Oh. Plus one radiation. Where's my radiation bar? Scan, use on, use on, use on. Where is my health? Top right. Sebastian meets you on the platform. Rad. Your finishing time is within the acceptable range. Wait, is that two different soldier paths? How is that? What? How? What? 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 Oh, uh, did you turn off your imposter? It clicks the stopwatch button, fixing the result <laughs> time. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We can see until the says no. The scientist turns back to his notes. Not bad. One question. You observed several anomalies while scanning. Why do you think they appeared? I'd like to hear your opinion. Retort that you don't give a fig about the reasons White Wing is putting a high value asset manager in danger. What? <laughs> So you just told now. The scientist assumes a superior expression. I knew you'd come up with something like that. I see you understand nothing about the nature of anomalies. So let me add a couple of points. He glances at the shimmering blue light in the eco zone. The truth is, we don't know the precise reason for these phenomenon either. We actually know nothing. No matter how much we try to convince ourselves otherwise. Sebastian points a thin finger at the clustered lightning. I personally believe that the anomalies are the dome security mechanism. The ones you saw are relatively harmless, but there are different anomalies in the desert, phenomena that toy with the human mind. Van Olden clasps his hands behind his back. I know you don't care, but I'll say it anyway. Scientists today are required to be wonder workers who can heal cancer with a wave of their hand and solve the secrets of the universe during their coffee break. For some reason, no one wants to understand that fundamental science is always an investment in the future. It produces no answers here and now. The White's gaze strays back to his clipboard. If something terrible happens under the dome one day, and I'm sure it will, science will protect no one. That is all. Off you go. Hey, these people are very cool. Like all right, you've completed the combat training, learned how to scan relics and collect your weapons and uniform. The crash course is completed. Head to the waiting area where the bus will take you to the station. Cool. Uh, garage door. Where's the waiting area? There will soon be a thing. I guess it's this way. Uh oh, I do. Hello? Why do you keep bothering me? I'm listening. It was nice chatting. Hey, you're at it again, asshole. Okay, you got me, Butch. Old habits. You know that. Shall we continue? Hey, come on now. Start over. 
He only did it once. No, no, Butch is right. What do you want? Um, you won't inform their supervisors that they explain what they're playing. I don't want to be like that. Uh, demand to stop the game and break up the gathering. Say you don't want to interrupt them and leave. Yeah, we're going to time for work, right, guys? Leaving you behind. Okay. I mean, I'll take the XP for that. Sure. Uh, I think their waiting room New is technically right technology. here. I'm gonna play some room world for a bit. If anybody is being bad, you give me a text. All right. Stat, I need backup. I need backup now. Stat. I'm actually going to be getting off uh, in a second here as well, anyways. Um, because I have work tomorrow and stuff. So. Just trying to figure out how to get to the waiting room. I'm assuming the waiting room is down here, maybe. Let's see, if I click on that, how does he get there? Goes through this door. Oh, goes through this door. Hey, first aid of the dome. In case of damage, Ed spit it out. I can see that something's bothering you. Itching to give a timeout. Employee, please come here. There's an urgent task for you. An urgent task for me. All right, I'm going to save right here. And we can figure out uh, whatever's happening next, next time. So, with that, ladies and gentlemen, this has been my first technically uh, multi-stream. And of... Uh, encased this game is uh pretty cool color she looks like a raccoon from crying all here now <laughs> uh i will end up breaking this into a uh, part one of encased on youtube as well but yeah um looking forward to seeing the future of these streams and everything so for now i am going to chill thank you soldier pat who stopped by and anyone else that did lurk for a little bit on any other platform uh, or any platform really at all so 